So, guys, um, very much a uh, fall feeling day today for sure after kind of a uh, very warm fall, spring, almost early <laughs> summer day yesterday. <laughs> Bit of a checks yeah. mix of weather. Jim. Yeah, yeah. So we're definitely just going down in the roller coaster now with these temperatures for today. Yeah, and after yesterday, it kind of shocked me walking out there after it lightened up this morning. I was like, whoa, it's actually fall now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a little bit nicer than what we're expecting. Today is nice. about what we expected. So, uh, yeah, it's cooler. I actually thought I woke up in a haunted house last night with all of the windy noises that you get. Yeah, I yeah. was like, where am I at? That <laughs> apartment must, must be kind of creaky there. <laughs> <laughs> Not stable. <laughs> all right, well, it's time for our trending topics of the day. We're talking about a lengthy cruise in addition to a segue and an unforgettable meeting with the Pope. Now, first up, are you ready to get back on a cruise ship? Well, if you are still wanting to do that, Royal Caribbean is launching the ultimate world cruise. Now, you will be on board the ship for 274 <laughs> nights and wow. visit 150 <laughs> destinations. Now, that's about nine months. Wow. Now, the serenade of the sea ship will stop on all seven continents and visit 11 wonders of the world. Now, it begins on December 10th of 2023 in Miami, and you will arrive back in Miami on September 10th of 2024. Rates start about $61,000 plus taxes mm. and fees. So save up now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a healthy amount, but if you Dang. actually think about it, like... I could actually, I mean, it's kind of a good value. I mean, yeah. if you're like, if you're gone for two thirds of a year, you know, and you're going across the world for $61,000, like if you do kind of think about that, like it's you actually not bad. Sure. I mean, I can't eat or do anything <laughs> for like a couple years to save up for that, but like, right. <laughs> I do see the value in something like that. Some meals. Yeah. yeah, I would probably be living on Hot Pockets there or something. Yeah. <laughs> fast food for a while but no I mean if, if it's worth it Jack like if the sights you're seeing and the activities yeah. on the boat yeah definitely could make it worth it you guys ever been on a cruise before I haven't so I was just gonna say I would be a little bit nervous to be on the water for that long but I mean all seven continents in one trip it sounds like you can't beat that wow. yeah that's a treat wow. I've, I've never been on one either I really mean, yeah well, I've been you, once you've been once where'd you, where'd you go Oh, I went to Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. uh, nice. I went to a little island there, uh -huh. and I remember they had a kids club. Oh, nice. nice. I, was, I was jamming. <laughs> you were the I, I was, king of the kids club. Yes, <laughs> I had to own that club. <laughs> Does it feel, I've heard that like it doesn't really feel after a while like you're on the water, you kind of forget because it's so big. From what I can remember, your attention turns to all of the activities and the people you meet. You don't even notice that the water is beneath you. Huh. So as, as long as you make it mo worth your while and you have a good time, I think it's worth it. Okay. So. Well, there you go. Might consider it. Not that one, though. Maybe <laughs> yeah. we're going a three-day one. Right. So, Segway is giving users a chance to turn their scooter into a drivable water gun, <laughs> sort of. This is called the Ninebot Mecha Kit. You connect your scooter, and this is the little cart. Then you can sit on it and drive around. No way. There are dual joysticks that allow you to shoot other people, but not with water, but with beads of gel. They start to evaporate after you shoot them. The device also has customizable lights and a Bluetooth sound system that allows you to play music. The kit is about $600 if you already own the scooter. If you don't, you'll have to buy both, and it will set you back about $1,000. So bumper cars to another level. Right, that's what I was just going to say that. <laughs> it's all kids in the video here, but I mean, this looks like fun for adults. Too. Yes. 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 <laughs> He's like, like adult Mario Kart. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a perfect summer activity, too. I would say so. This. And again, for a thousand dollars, like nothing about the value. It's like it's actually kind of, kind of cool. You could spend hours doing. Oh yeah. I never heard of it shooting gel though. That's kind of different. I know. You expect water. Obviously, you don't want to put water close to <laughs> something like this, but that's pretty cool. Well, and so is the. It said the gel evaporates. I wonder what kind of gel. It's obviously not like hair gel. Right. It's right. <laughs> it's probably some sort of water-based stuff right. too. But, I mean, hey, if we can. If we can battle it out, like between the you know the eight o'clock and the nine o'clock hour, yeah. and like the gel like evaporates, <laughs> so we can still be all TV ready to go. Like that's all right. We'll preview them for you on set. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> we just got to fork over the money. That's right. We'll expense report it. There you go. Three grand, no big deal. Credit cards help. Well, this next story is an interesting one. A ten-year-old boy stole the spotlight yesterday at Pope Francis's weekly audience. He walked on stage asking for the pontiff's white head covering. So the boy shared a very special moment with the Pope, and he was eventually given a skull cap of his own. After the exchange, Francis praised the, quote, spontaneity and freedom of children. 
I, I would say this is a bold move. That's I mean, no move. no uh, fear in his heart. He I was mean, brave. Let me just walk up to the Pope real quick <laughs> yeah. and ask him for something. That's that's some bravery wow. there. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Pope, the leader of the, the Catholic Church, like, <laughs> one of the most powerful people on the planet. He dropped it, too, on his way down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did? Oh, I thought he maybe you'd put it on his face. Okay. He's, He's still right, home. though. Kids aren't, aren't afraid of much. No, They'll right, right. say anything. <laughs> wow. Out of the mouths of babes. That was, that was, cool. That was cool of the Pope to just kind of, you know, take it in stride and everything, too. Right. Blessed him with this cap. Yep, yep. <laughs> Legit blessed him with this cap. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, it's more than just a start to a new project. That's right. Still to come right here on The Morning Show, how it's also making one boy's wish come true. You do not want to miss this great story.